Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we have a really fun video. We're doing a TJ Maxx and Marshalls haul and a try on. I hope you guys like this video. I had so much fun filming it. Please let me know down below if you do enjoy it. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we are gonna get started. The first thing that I picked up is this Laura Geller Filter First Luminous Foundation. This, I've, I don't see a ton of people talking about this foundation, but anything with the word luminous on it, I wanna try. And a lot of times at TJ Maxx, um, I can't find a shade in a foundation that I think would work for me. But they had this one yesterday and I think this shade is gonna be okay. The shade that I got is Ivory. So hopefully this is good. Uh, this was $7.99. So really good price. I'm gonna insert the exact prices of all these products, like the full prices on the screen so you can see how good of a deal these are. TJ Maxx also has the compare app prices listed on the tags. Like this says compare at $14. I find a lot of times the compare app prices are not accurate. They are always lower in my opinion than what the real regular price is okay so this is what it looks like just a frosted bottle with a pump it says shake well so i'm going to shake i've been so excited to film this video i love tj maxx but i love them even more now that they have all this high-end makeup i just it's like a makeup scavenger hunt what's better than that so we're gonna take this on the back of my hand well actually hang on i also picked this up this i think i was most excited to find this because i've always wanted this and when i saw it at tj maxx i almost had a heart attack literally this is the it cosmetics i think this is the number seven brush from it cosmetics that is in a lot of YouTube videos. It's double-ended. I think it initially came out to go with that, with their CC cream that's so popular. So this was $16.99 and the Heavenly Face Brush or the number seven brush, I'm pretty sure retails for $48. So I'm gonna look it up and put the exact price here, but this looks just like it to me. We're going to use this with this foundation and then I may go back in and blend it a little bit with my Real Techniques sponge, but we're going to use that brush first since I got that. So I'm going to put some, oh, it's very runny. I'm not sure how much to apply, so I'm just going to use one pump to start out with. Blend it in with this brush. This looks really good. Oh my goodness. I was not expecting that. Okay, I'm gonna go back over and blend this just a little bit more with my sponge. Which, by the way, I did not get the sponge in this haul, but buy your Real Technique sponges from TJ Maxx. They always have the four pack of these sponges for $12.99. That's a really good price for these. I think at Ulta one of these sponges is like $5.99 a piece, which if you bought four that would be $24. And you can get four in a pack together for $12.99 at TJ Maxx. So I always buy these there. Okay. A 
Oh my god. This was only one pump. I am... How is this only $7.99? And why is this at TJ Maxx? Because this is really pretty. Oh my god. Okay, for concealer, I'm really bummed now because at the TJ, I went to several TJ Maxx and Marshalls. This foundation came from TJ Maxx, but they also at this particular location had the filter first concealer, but they had they didn't have anything close to my shade. So I'm really bummed about that cuz now that I've tried this foundation, I really want to try the concealer. But the only one I could find for concealer in my shade is this one. This is the CoverGirl True Blend It's Lit Brightening Concealer Pen. This one is in the shade Light. This was $2.99. So I figured for $2.99 it's worth a try. Okay. Pens always make me kind of nervous. I feel like you have to really work to get the product out. There we go. All right, let's try this out. One thing I do not like about pens for concealer is they're so messy. Like you can't, it just, gets really gross. I don't love that about pens, but we're going to try this one out. So I'm going to try to blend it with this side of this brush. I'm going to blend it on both sides with this brush and then I'm going to go back over it with my sponge like we did with the foundation. I'm gonna go over it now with my sponge. Okay. So it's not bad, definitely not full coverage, it's more of like a medium coverage I would say, but it's a good consistency, it's not thick, and it doesn't look cakey under my eyes, it doesn't look to be creasing yet, so not bad. Not as impressed as I am with the foundation, but it's not bad. So I found the NARS Sculpting Duo, and this is the Laguna and Hot sand shades. One side is the bronzer Laguna and one side is a highlighter. So it's this little stick. This was $12.99. If you've seen any of my other videos, you'll know or I've said a few times that my favorite bronzer of all time, if I had to choose one, is my NARS Laguna bronzer. So I was so excited when I saw this, the cream version, because I've never, I feel like a long time ago I did see this in store, but it disappeared and I've never seen it since until I found it at TJ Maxx. And to apply this, I got this, which I was excited about this too. This is the Real Techniques Retractable Kabuki Brush. And this was only $2.99. So it comes with a cap too, so you can close this up, which is pretty cool. Okay, so we are gonna try to use this to blend out this Laguna bronzer. Okay. Okay. Alright, so 
So it's blending out pretty well. Yeah, okay. Let's try a little. I want to use the other side of this stick, the highlight side. This is Hot Sand is the name of this. So I am just going to... I'm just going to draw a little bit of this on. I'm just blend this in a little with my It Cosmetics brush here. Okay. So it's not a really intense highlight, but it's pretty. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty. Liking this. I'm so excited about this stuff. Okay, we're moving along to blush now. I was also really excited about this. This is the Becca Mineral Blush in Songbird. This is so pretty. This was $6.99. It says compare at $10. I know that cannot be accurate. We're going to go ahead and apply some of this. Okay, when am I going to get to a product that I'm not crazy about? I mean, look at this glow that's happening. I mean, dang. TJ Maxx, Marshalls, what is happening? Okay, so this blush came from TJ Maxx also. Next, we're going to do eyebrows. So this I got because a few months back I got a Stila brow product from Sephora. It's the, let me find it, it's this. The Stay All Day Waterproof Brow Color. It's one of the pens. And this is in the color medium. And one of the girls in Sephora tried this on me and I didn't think I was gonna like it, but I actually really did, so I bought it. And I love this, but I found the pencil version of this at TJ Maxx in the same color. So I was really excited to try this out. So this is the Sketch and Sculpt Brow Pencil in the same shade, medium. yet another product that I like like what in the heck is going on I mean I thought I was gonna like some of these things but I didn't think I was gonna like everything this next product I've actually had for a little while but it's still in the packaging I haven't used it yet so I figured I would include it because I did get it from TJ Maxx it is the Bare Minerals Gin Nude Eyeshadow Primer in the shade Exposed. I was so excited when I found these. I actually bought, like, I think I bought three of these when I found them because they had a whole rack of these. And 
I use this on a daily basis. I use this on my eyes all the time. I use this for a base. I use this just as my eyeshadow and don't even add anything else to my eyes. I use this all the time. So I was so excited when I saw these there. And this was $4.99. I don't know why these were there. I, I use this on a daily basis. And just blend that in with this little Techniques brush. Yeah, so I'm thinking of doing this as a series on my channel because like I said before, I've been watching these a ton lately. I am obsessed with TJ Maxx videos. Like, I know just because you show something in a video and you say, you know, you got it from TJ Maxx doesn't mean you're going to go and find it. But it just makes me so excited to find this kind of makeup for really, really affordable prices. I just, it just makes me so happy. Like I said, it's the makeup scavenger hunt. We're going to use the bronzer and the highlighter as eyeshadow. So have you guys found anything really awesome at TJ Maxx near you? I'm really curious. That's why I like these videos. I love to know what other people find. Because I remember like a year or two ago, we've been going to TJ Maxx, my mom and I, for ever. I've always gone to TJ Maxx my whole life pretty much. And I don't ever remember them having high-end makeup. I mean, maybe something random here and there, but I just don't remember them ever having that stuff. So when I started seeing this at TJ Maxx, I mean, mm, it made me so happy. Now I'm going to take the highlighter side and I'm just going to use my finger for this I'm just going to put a little bit of this on my lid I also picked up an eyeliner for $9.99. This is by Lancome. It's the Drama Liquid Pencil Coal Eyeliner and the color is Brulee. I don't wear eyeliner on a day-to-day -day basis, but um, I do wear it from time to time. So I thought this color looked really pretty. It's a really dark brown. But this is a really creamy pencil. So we're going to try this out. So I'm just going to apply this like I normally do. I like to line my eyes and then kind of smudge it out so it just looks a little messier. So I've talked about this in some of my other videos, but this is a really good trick. If you're not great at eyeliner, but you like the look of it, this is a really good thing to do. Just line your eye as close as you can get to the lash line and then take a little small brush like this and just smudge it. And it's a lot easier to do if you get a coal pencil like this. Don't try to do this with a really like hard pencil that's not creamy because it's going to be a lot harder to blend this out or to smudge it on your lash line because it's, it's not going to want to move very much. 
So make sure if you do this, you do it with a coal eye pencil. So you can really smudge it out. You could also take, after you smudge it, some brown eye shadow and kind of stamp it along the lash line to set this a little bit. If you felt like it was gonna move around or it wasn't gonna last, you could do I'm that. I'm gonna do some mascara. Curl my lashes real quick. This is my Surratt eyelash curler. This did not come from TJ Maxx, but I wish it did. So for mascara, I got the Estee Lauder Sumptuous Extreme Lash Multiplying Volume Mascara. Color is Extreme Black. And this was pricier. I paid $14.99 for this, so I'm going to look this up and see what the retail price of this is. But this is what a tube looks like. I haven't, I haven't tried many products from Estee Lauder, actually. This brush looks pretty nice. Kind of a thicker, thick at the bottom and gets a little skinnier to the top. So, I'm going to try this out. Last but not least, we are going to do some lips. So I got two lip products. This Laura Mercier lip pencil. They had a lot of Laura Mercier lipsticks as well. And I tried to find one that was a color I thought I'd actually use. But a lot of the colors they had were just too bright for me. I knew I wouldn't use it. So I didn't get one. But I did get this pencil. And this also came... I don't... I don't own any of her lip pencils, so I, I don't know if they all do this, but it came with a little sharpener as well. I'm kind of filling my lips in with this too, because I didn't find a lipstick, like I said, that I loved gonna top this with that lip gloss this is the buxom full-on plumping lip cream in the shade Mykonos sunrise this is a pretty bright corally color hopefully it won't be too bright I'm not sure how it'll look over this lip liner but we'll try it Okay, so it's not that bright when you put it on. It's kind of pretty. Sorry, this was $5.99. I pretty much love all of these products, and I'm not kidding. I, I'm in shock. I mean, I would use these things on a daily basis. If I had to say the only thing I'm not 100% sold on, it would be the CoverGirl concealer. It's not bad, but it's not anything spectacular. Of course, this is the only drugstore item that I bought, so this is the most inexpensive thing. I don't think it's a bad concealer. I just am not super wild by it. This foundation, if you see this Filter First Luminous Foundation, Try this out if you like a luminous finish. This, you guys saw my reaction. I am really, really shocked at how pretty this is. If you see this brush, this is good. $16.99. And this looks just like the $48 brush they have at Ulta. Just like it. Love that. Love the bronzer. Love the blush. The eye pencil. The eyebrow pencil, this stuff, I'm gonna tally all these prices up 
and put it on the screen for you so you can see how much all these products were from TJ Maxx and how much they would have been if I bought them from Sephora or Ulta or wherever. So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please let me know down below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to start doing a TJ Maxx Marshalls series on my channel, and we're going to do these videos regularly because I love these. I hope you guys do too. Please let me know down below if you liked it, and I will see you guys next time. Remember, simply be you, and thanks for watching. Bye.